All right, so I actually just looked over and realized that the recording hadn't actually started. We haven't missed a whole lot, to be fair, so it's not the end of the world. But this could possibly be our third four in a row. Did say that I did drop Tim Payne, brought in Caleb Jewell. He went on and scored 100. Great piece of captaincy there. But we find ourselves in a very similar situation where we're a six down, but we've got about 250 to 300 on the board. We're going to have to play a counter-attacking innings, which is exactly how we've started, to be fair. And it's how we're going to look to carry on as things go. And uh, we've got Benny McDermott down the other end there, so probably our best batsman, uh, skill-wise anyway, is in at the crease. And we're looking to try and push... Get a partnership and get our score up around 400. Oh, crunched. Finally, we get something that we can hit away. We started with a hiss and a roar. Just haven't had anything to work with at all. But finally, we get a half volley outside off stump. And we punish it down to the deep cover boundary. It's not really, I mean, I'll take the four, but I did just want a single off that last ball to retain the strike, but we'll take it. Tassie and our eight down, we've got 330 on the board. We're looking to try and tick off that 350 first before we go for that 400. Oh, there we go. This is the cliff we like to see. Back against the wall and running out of partners down the other end. We're going to start going for it now. Oh, haven't quite got a hold of that one as well as we would have liked. It is early, but remember, small hair square at Bloodstone Arena. And we'll pick ourselves up four. And work this one here around the corner, off the back foot. So we will just take the one. However, that does take us to 50 off of 38 deliveries. Eight fours, one six. We'll be looking to kick on here. As I said, we want to try and get as close to that 400 as possible. Oh, this will do. It's on the pads. It's whipped away to fine leg. It's four. We're just two away from that 350. Oh, have we got enough of that? I think we have. New ball taken. Four all the way. Oh, we've not got a hold of that. Early timing. Thanks for coming. Routine catch for the fielders. 360 on the board. Don't really think that number 10 and number 11 are going to get 40 runs. But stranger things have happened. We're just going to have to make it up with the ball now. Not the best way to start. What is my fielder doing? He's just run away from the ball. I didn't say anything because I didn't think it was going to go for four. And then he does something stupid like that. Oh, how's that? Give that umpire. Come on, yes. Thank you, Roscoe. He'd gone for 83. I've actually bowled myself bugger all in uh, this recording so far. Just because I haven't really felt like bowling. I uh, just want to do a bit of batting. But we have brought ourselves in here with the new ball. The other seam is bit tied, and we have gone and done the business. Got head for 83. We will take that. But as we can see, South Australia are in a really good position here. I think they're about 20 runs ahead already. And uh, that one there is going down the leg side. But 20 runs ahead, still four wickets left in the bag. And we are going to need to pull something out here if we are going to get a result out of this game. Oh, how's that? How's that? If that's not LBW, that's our court behind. Don't know which one Ross Dog is going to give. But uh, high fives all around. Cliff gets his second. Why I didn't bring myself in earlier, I don't know. As I said, just didn't feel like having a trundle. We get the LBW. Now, I have a feeling that that may have been a touch high. I was more thinking of, as I don't know what I'm doing... Um, I was thinking more of the court behind is what was going to get it. But as we can see here, it's pitching outside off. That's fine. The impact is in line. And it's probably going on to hit the... Oh, it's going on to hit three quarters of the way up middle stump. So I thought height was possibly the issue. But it has just been played all around. We've got our second two for four 
off of 3.1. And we're starting to make... Oh, there we go. There's another one, boys. Dan Warrell gone. And for the second time in two episodes, we are on a hat-trick here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can get it this time. And I'll get back to my original point that I was saying in just a moment. Kane Richardson works it to the leg side. Very anticlimactic finish. But... As I did say, I don't know why I didn't bring myself on earlier. Um, just didn't feel like bowling. First class bowling just seems to bore me quite a lot. Makes the episodes go really long as well. And uh, I'm really just hanging out for a bit of one day or 2020 cricket, which hopefully is going to be just around the corner. But um, we have done well since we have come back in to the bowling attack. And really, as a captain, we should have brought ourselves in earlier on. But wanted to give some of the other guys a bit of a run, especially with how well Travis Head, Tommy Cooper, and all those other guys that were hitting the ball. We've got three for. We'll take that. And uh, it is a double wicket maiden for us as well. Right, so here we are coming in. That average is still hovering around that 60. It's been there for a long time. We're betting once again with Benny McDermott. We lead by only 83 runs. So technically at the moment the score is 6 for 83. We have got a lot of work to do here, folks, it must be said. And we are going to start swinging from ball one and pick ourselves up a four. Oh my god, why do I always do stupid stuff like that? Oh my god, it was wide, to be fair, it did deserve a shot to be tried and played there. But there was no reason to play it off the back foot, because it's hit three quarters of the way up middle stump. And man, oh man, this is probably going to be one of the shortest episodes ever that I have done on the channel. Alright, we... That record is absolutely superb. The average of just under 11. However, the damage has been done, and it looks as though this game is going to finish up probably inside three days, I think it is, with South Australia only requiring 20 more runs. I think that's right. The target, oh, sorry, 21. The target is 142. So you'd have to think that they're going to get there probably sooner rather than later. We're going to try our best to just block it up as much as we can. Add to those 80 first-class wickets that we've got already it's, it is quite amazing to believe that we are closing in on the 100 so early on in our career mode. And if that is a sign of things to come when we make the next step up and play internationals, it is going to be a whole lot of fun. Remember, we do have 1,000 runs in the first class format as well. So it is the format that we prefer the most. Oh, that might be gone. Yes! Oh, Roscoe has triggered him. The cross seamer works, and we get ourselves another wicket. I mean, we haven't really done a whole lot in this episode, to be fair. It hasn't gone for a whole lot of time, but we still managed to score ourselves 50. Pretty sure we took three for in the first innings. We've got one for here. Um, there are, they are only seven runs behind now, so you'd have to think that it's probably too little too late. But one for none. That's going to help the average out. Something wicked. And if we could manage to, I don't know, somehow grab another one here, I would be absolutely over the moon. And there we are. There we have it. The Redbacks win by eight wickets. Keep their unbeaten run alive in the first class competition. As I said, it has finished up within three days. We actually started off all right, to be fair. 361 and then 417 in reply. We did take four for, uh, sorry, three for, Three for nine, and then one for none. Cam Valentine, man of the match, what did he do? He's got three for 91 and four for 65, so that's not terrible by any stretch. Caleb Jewell, as I did say, 120 he scored. We got 64 in the first innings. Uh, the first innings for the Redbacks, we did only bowl the five overs again. Just didn't really, just wasn't really in the mood to bowl. Um, three maidens, three for nine. Uh, the second innings we will forget about with the bat. Bowled by Worrell, just trying to play off the back foot to one that was pretty straight. Didn't it back in a little bit, but should have been absolutely clobbered to the boundary. And then just the four overs for us. Four overs, four maidens, no runs obviously. And the one wicket, one of only two wickets that was taken in that second innings. As I said, the Southern Redbacks stay top of the first class ladder. Now that is the end of of the first class format for about two months time so we're going to head out i'm going to allocate my skill points and fingers crossed we can get ourselves a t20 big bash league contract 
We have gone and done it, boys. So we have made it in. We're a fringe member, but it doesn't matter. We are playing some T20s in the Australian T20 Clash, or as we know it, the Big Bash League. We are playing as the Hurricanes. I think that was selected a long time ago, um, maybe like 10 or so episodes ago, but we have finally gone and made it in. Just having a look at the selection status. Still a fringe member, but hopefully we can get some performances in, not only to... I guess, enhance our reputation domestically, but hopefully it, uh, get it going internationally as well so we can start to move up in those international selections. Still no chance. Expecting selection and uh, very close in the Bangladesh Super League. So there is a lot that is going to be happening on the channel. There's probably be a few shorter videos coming, I would say, uh, especially with T20. We might do one, possibly two videos, depending on how short the games do go and play out as. But... We have got basically a month's worth of T20 here to go on the career mode. If you guys are excited for that, let me know down below in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. And until next time, ka kite anoa. See you soon.